Hello everyone and welcome to Dev Lockhart. Um, I know it's been about 10 years since I've posted anything on YouTube, but uh, since I'm in school, I don't really have much time to edit or do narratives, so that's why I'm just now getting around to doing this. Um, yeah, this is my piece called Swan. Before I put it on canvas, I happened to draw like a little doodle a few days prior and I thought it looked nice enough to put on canvas, but usually when I do abstract work, I kind of let things come to me naturally, so I don't draw them out beforehand. I just dive right into it. And um, yeah, most people don't like doing that because it is a lot easier just, you know, taking one idea that you've done on like a scratch piece of paper and then transferring over to um, canvas. But, uh, I just like, you know, being spontaneous with my uh, abstract art. And um, right now I'm using a, I don't know what this method is called. I've never seen anybody else use it, but um, I'm just gonna call it sand and glue method. Um, I enjoy doing this method because the end product looks great. The sand uh, is raised off of the canvas since it, there's a thick layer of uh, glue under it and that kind of makes my artwork pop off of the canvas and I think most people would probably paint the glue onto the canvas and then put sand onto it and it won't pop off as much it's still gonna pop off because sand gives a lot of texture but um, doing this thick layer of glue makes it pop off even more so that's why I enjoy doing this method and um, I've probably done it maybe four times on other pieces, but um, yeah, I used Elmer's school glue on this piece and I did not really enjoy using it because it was very tedious because regardless of what glue I use, I still have to go in and shape it if I want smooth lines. But in this case, I had to pack sand into the edges where the glue was seeping out in order to like kind of control the glue a little bit and create a barrier so i would uh, recommend using craft glue over you know regular school glue that i use it'll save you at least two times the amount of time um but yeah for tedious work like this i like to use very relaxing music and um I decided to listen to a guy by the name of Mind Design. I happened to come across his music on YouTube and I just decided to listen to it. And uh, yeah, right now I'm saving my sand um, thanks to that ugly trash bag in the background. Um, it's very aesthetically pleasing to the eye. But, uh, but yeah, so I listen to Mind Design. He's great if you want to have some relaxing music playing in the background for whatever you're doing and um, I'll add his information down in the description but um, when you're doing this method I would recommend that you put the glue down then add the sand and before you shake the sand off let it sit in a room that has a fan going for maybe five to ten minutes and then go back in and shape the glue into whatever you need the shape to be it works very well I just couldn't do it for this piece because the glue was so watery but um yeah if you guys ever uh, have any questions or anything you can contact me through Instagram DM me and uh, thanks for watching please like and subscribe and uh, see you guys later thank you